Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, the two ministers from India. Uh, welcome to Washington. Thank you for your leadership in the growing U.S.-India strategic partnership. Secretary Nesper and I are honored to host the second two plus two, the first one here in Washington, D.C. Uh, Trump administration has prioritized closer ties with New Delhi from President Trump and Prime Minister Modi's event in Houston in September to this uh, two plus two ministerial here today. Uh, and uh, my productive visit to India in the summer of this year. Our common values of democracy, freedom, respect for the rule of law are a great foundation for our expanding partnership. They're the basis for my hope for a new age of ambition between our two democracies. Today's dialogue built on steady progress over this past year. We secured new agreements on space exploration and defense industrial collaboration. We agreed to establish a new exchange program for legislators from our two countries. We launched new initiatives to help secure internships for innovators in each of our two countries. And we're excited to support India's Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. Elsewhere in the bilateral relationship, Ambassador Lighthair is working hard with his Indian counterpart on a fair and reciprocal trade deal. And we're growing our counterterrorism cooperation as well. And over the last uh, 24 months, U.S. crude and LNG exports to India have increased by more than $6 billion. That's great for the United States, and it's great for India as well. I'm especially proud of how we're pursuing a common vision for the region with allies and partners. In September, I was happy to host the inaugural Quad Ministerial Meeting in New York, Australia, India, the United States and India working together on many challenges. We're growing trilateral security cooperation with Japan as well. Secretary Esper will speak to that. And earlier this year, too, India joined up its first ever group sale. It told the region when we did that uh, of our unwavering commitment to freedom of navigation together. All of these efforts reflect multilateralism that we can be proud of, democracies working together to protect our values. Today, too, we had a good, lively, productive exchange of views on significant regional challenges. We value India's perspective on security in the Indo-Pacific and, frankly, all around the world. The future of Afghanistan matters to each of our two nations. We're working together toward a more secure, prosperous, peaceful future for the Afghan people. And we appreciate India's contributions in Afghanistan and intend to continue consulting closely on that matter. On Iran, we discussed the maximum pressure campaign and why it's necessary for getting outlaw regime in Tehran to behave like a normal nation. And on China, we discussed the risks that Chinese-built communication networks, including 5G, pose to our treasured freedoms, and how China's unfair and predatory economic activity in the Indo-Pacific presents a risk to those very freedoms. These are big subjects. We had good conversations. Uh, the countries that our nations now can talk about frankly and openly and continuously, because we are forging deeper, stronger bonds between our two nations. Thank you both again for joining us. Uh, Secretary Esper, the floor is yours.